because it was very hard for me to ignore it. I couldn't sleep at night. Uh, I, you know, I, ha I, have, I have to do something. I, I believe that everything that anybody does will help Latifa. These are the adopted kids that they have there. Unlike most men in Dubai, Marcus Asabri knows the hardships often faced by women in the royal family. That's because he used to be one of them. You're Marcus now? I am. Who did you grow up as? I grew up as uh, Fatima. Was it apparent to you from a very young age that boys were treated very differently to girls in Dubai? Uh... Yes. Yeah, big time. Yeah, and I think that's why I didn't last there. Like siblings, really, more than cousins, you know. Marcus, who transitioned to life as a man ten years ago. Clearly, uh, me and uh, Shamsa uh, playing uh, a video game. Says he shared a special bond with not only Latifa, but also her sister Shamsa, another Dubai yeah. princess who tried but failed to escape the royal family. All I'm saying is that I made up my mind. At the moment, I have hope, I have a goal, but to get there, I'll have to sacrifice some of the things I have. Shamza obviously trusted you. I mean, you were almost her confidant in, in those letters. Yeah. What did she say to you when she opened up? That she would rather die than carry on the life there. For me, it's very tough to talk about this because I feel I've let her down. It was July 2000, and 18-year-old Shamza was holidaying at the family's 130.